The September No Worries Club digital download is all about preparing your horse for a safe, fun trail riding experience. Check out this sneak peek from the training session. Okay guys, so everybody did pretty good there on the cruising lesson at the Trot and Canna. Nobody's horse was really running off and building speed. Couple of lazier ones, but I'd rather that than them be running off, okay? So again, all of what, we're just doing a, a brief overview of some of the fundamental exercises. If people are watching this and you can't do these things, go back and watch the fundamentals kit. If you're a premium club member, go back and complete in every step of the fundamentals level. So the next exercise we're gonna work on is post and circle. This is one of my most favorite exercises to get a horse controlled, broke, steering well, gas pedal, etc. It's actually in the intermediate series. It could have quite easily been in the fundamental series, but we had to cut it off at somewhere, okay? So we put a series of cones around the outside of the arena. These cones are about five large steps off the fence. So if, for reference at home, five large steps off the fence is where we put a cone. So this one exercise, the reason I like it so much is that you get lots of things done in one exercise. You're gonna get trotting done, you're gonna get loping done, you're gonna get left circles, right circles, you're gonna improve your steering. If there is one exercise in the method that you focused on and you ignored everything else, I'd actually tell you to pick this exercise. This will get more accomplished if you dedicate to it and really do it enough than just about anything in the method. It's, it's an exercise that people greatly underestimate how much control it'll help you get. So, it's really gonna help you focus. So the trick is, when you're riding to a cone, now you're allowed to steer. You're gonna have two hands on the reins, okay? But you're gonna focus where you wanna go. So if I'm looking at that, like I'm gonna look at the camera here, for example. If, I, if the camera's a cone and my horse veers off left, I pull the right rein. If he veers off to the right, I pull the left rein. But the whole time, I never take my eyes off the camera where I'm trying to go to. Here's the kiss of death. As Soon as you look at the head, they win. You can never look at the head. You must only look at where you're going. So the whole trick to this is focus where you're trying to get to. So you're gonna initially trot up to the cone. Then you're gonna do a minimum of three circles, maximum six around the cone. Then look up. Straight line, pick out another cone. So we'll start at the trot and then eventually we'll move on to the lope where we lope to a cone, trot around the cone. Lope to a cone, trot around the cone. This works equally as good with hot nervous horses. Like he's a little more forward than what I'd like to see, which is not odd, he's an Arab, it's a new place. You know, that's pretty typical, okay? It'll work good for hot horses and it works good for lazy horses too because you get to practice that gas pedal. As a good rule of thumb, the more nervous a horse is and hot they are, and the more they wanna take off fast, do more circles. So I said minimum three, maximum six. If I was riding a thoroughbred or an Arab with a piece of dynamite shoved up its ass, I might circle it 30 times, and then 30 times over there, and then 50 times. So I'll say it again. The hotter the horse, the more circles you do. The lazier the horse, the less circles you do. So if they're real lazy, I'll just do my three and leave. If they're hot, nervous, um, spooky, reactive, acting like a dick, you name it, more circles. So as a good rule of thumb, I'd rather you do too many circles than not enough. This doesn't work well if you just go up and do one circle and leave. I'm not saying it won't work, but it, it won't work as well, okay? You're going to go, you're going to crisscross this pattern. You're going to go across, you're going to go long ways, you're going to diagonal. Use your imagination. Don't be boring and go to the same two cones every time. Here's another trick. As you're approaching the cone, okay, I'll do it to this cone. As I'm approaching the cone, if my horse is leaning back to the barn, if he's leaning off this way, I'll circle the cone the opposite way he leans. If I'm coming up to a cone here and he's leaning this way, I'm gonna circle the cone right. So just remember this. 
as you're approaching the cone, whatever way you feel his body leaning, try to trot circles the opposite way. So our end goal is to have the horse do a perfectly straight line. When you first start this, especially when they're green, they're gonna be drunk. They're gonna weave all over the place. It's not gonna be a nice straight line. Don't worry about that. What you focus on is the cone. Now, when you actually get to the cone, let's say this cone here, look at the cone, look down at it. You're gonna use your inside rein to tip his nose and your outside leg to make his shoulders and body follow his nose. So even when you're circling the cone, you're looking at the cone. When you're loping up to the cone, you look at the cone. As soon as you look down at their head, they win. Think about it like you're driving a car. If you just stare at the gas gauge, you will crash because you don't know where you're going. If you look out where you're going, you have a much better chance of not crashing. So the trick is focus where you wanna go. Every exercise in the method, half of the exercise is designed to make you a better rider. Feel, time and experience make you a better rider. The other half of the exercise is designed to make the horse a better horse, okay? So what this exercise does for the rider is it makes you learn to focus where you wanna go. It helps you do rounder circles. It helps you guide your horse. It'll improve your seat. It'll improve your, and on, on the horse, it'll improve his steering wheel tremendously. It'll improve his gas pedal tremendously. Because we're gonna do a lot of this exercise pretty soon out in the trail. But we're gonna simulate it here first. So this is a, a big exercise. I try to tell people, you can do what we're gonna, about to do for 20, 30 minutes straight, four or five days in a row. Where this won't help you is if you just do this for five minutes once a week, just don't even bother getting on the horse. It's a waste of time. If you're not willing to do it for 20 to 30 minutes, four days in a row, don't bother. But after four days in a row, you will see a huge change in your horse. Put your stopwatch on, minimum 20 minutes. Most people do it for three minutes and think that was 30. You know, put your stopwatch on, minimum of 20. I'd like to see you do it 30 minutes. Is this boring? Yes, I wanna shoot myself in the head just even thinking about the exercise. But typically, the most boring exercises are the most valuable ones. Want more? Get more. The No Worries Club is the best way to get the most out of your training experience. Stick around to find out more. Hey mate, Clint Anderson here. For the past 20 years, I've devoted my life to creating the best training tools and videos available to help bring my method to you. But there's only one problem. You can't bring your TV into the arena. <laughs> That's why we've been hard at work developing a new platform to deliver the method to you in a whole new way. A way that brings 20 years of horsemanship and puts it in the palm of your hand. Introducing the mobile method. It's part of the new Down Under digital experience and it makes learning the method easier than ever before. Let me show you how it works, mate. Now you can always have access to the method, even when you're on the go or at the barn. The Down Under Horsemanship app gives you access to your digital training kits and allows you to download videos and training content directly to your mobile device or view them on your computer. The Down Under Horsemanship app also offers over 86 hours of free in-depth training content. No Worries Club members will have full access to Clinton's ever-growing training library and a massive amount of members-only features and information. And the best part is, you can view and interact with each lesson on your mobile device or computer, giving you ultimate access to the method anytime and any place. The method is the key to getting the most out of your partnership with your horse. We want everybody to experience the difference it will make. That's why we created three new ways for you to get the training content you need at the price you want. Our basic level allows you to purchase and download training content to your device at our standard price with no annual fee. When you become a No Worries Club member for $19.99 a month, 
you get up to 50% discount on any of your purchases. Plus, you get eight digital videos and four digital journals a year and access to the No Worries Club website, the largest collection of method material and resources in the world. Plus, you can become part of our social network and chat with thousands of other folks just like you. If you want the ultimate experience, mate, the premium membership is for you. You get all the benefits of the No Worries Club, a printed copy of our No Worries Club quarterly journal, and access to all of the method and the professional series kit training videos. Altogether, that's thousands of dollars of horse training and 20 years of horsemanship delivered right to your fingertips. So there you have it, folks. The new mobile method app is the easiest and most effective way to deliver the maximum amount of knowledge at a minimal amount of time. And with the new No Worries Club, you can be assured you're gonna get exactly what you need at a price that's right for you. It's a free download, so what are you waiting for, mate? Get started today. Start your digital training experience today. Visit our website and download the Down Under Horsemanship app to experience the method in a whole new way.